say that being an only child has its ups and downs. Not the way I see it. So, what's on for today? A bike ride? A movie rental? What? I'm up for anything. Jamie, I promised Carissa I'd hang out with her today. It's a sister thing. It's got to be done. Well, how about you, Sid? Let's go to the park and people watch. Oh, sorry, Jay. I'm going on a family picnic. It's kind of a ritual. You know, me, my parents, my big sister. Oops, I gotta go, guys. We're loading the car. Have a great day. Okay, Carissa. <laughs> Little kids are so demanding. I gotta go, too. Bye, Jay. Kevin, when you're an only child and your friends are both busy with their sister-filled lives. Oh, you wouldn't understand. You're just a cat. All you care about are kitty munchies and... and... kitty munchies. I'm going to do the groceries. Anything special you want, Jamie? Yeah, a sister. Excuse me? Never mind. Okay. Well, Dad's here if you need anything, so just holler. You should call your friends. Great. Good advice. But they're busy being sisters. I need a sister. I could whine about my parents with a sister. It would be like having a built-in friend. Someone who has to like you. Who's never too busy for you. Imagine it. Me and my sister against the world. Welcome back to the morning show with Vicki Bobbins. I'm Vicki. And up next, our special interview of the week featuring the newest singing sensations, Reza and Carissa, the sister duo from Bennington Park. They're gonna sing their latest single, The Lonely Child Blues, inspired by a girl they knew long ago, Jamie Brooks. Not likely, no channel surfing allowed while Vicky's in the house. <laughs> okay, forget the singers. I've got a treat for you. Sydney and Charlie Banks are here in our studios. <laughs> They're the dynamic duo whose new bestseller, Sibling Revelry, has just topped every top 10 list you can think of. Welcome to the show, girls. So, what's your book about? It's a tribute to sisterhood. Something Jamie Brooks will never understand. Get a grip, Jamie Brooks. Television is so overrated. And so is sisterhood. Who needs a sibling? Pa moi. Oh, now I'm bored, sweaty, and nauseous. Oh, this is so stupid. I don't have a problem. In fact, I have everything I need. Come on, it's your turn. Concentrate. Hey, who do you think you're dealing with here? An amateur? You cheated right in front of me. Who are you calling a cheater? You! And while I'm at it, let me tell you another thing. You have a serious problem. I know. Don't rub it in. Night, Night Jamie. Jamie. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. And Kevin, that's my problem. It's just you and me. No offense, but it would be the greatest to have a big family. Okay, and a few more cats, too. Night, Kevin. Ah, a family picnic. Just me and all my sisters. You're it! Does it matter? When you're a Brooks, you're part of one big team, and you're all winners. Good night, Susan. Good night, Jamie. Good night, Marsha. Good night, Jamie. Good night, Diana. Good night, Jamie. Good night, Nancy. Good night, Jamie. Space. 
You're right, Kev. One sister would be just perfect. Like Reza. She's just got one. Hey, maybe I could borrow Reza's little sister. She'd share with me. Wondering. Jamie, listen, I'm real, real sorry, but I can't hang out today either. I had to entertain my baby sister yesterday and I got behind on all my homework. Okay, not a problem. Hey, I just got this great idea. How about I take Carissa to the park? Get her out of your hair. You? Are you feeling well, Jamie? Yeah, it'll be a blast. Besides, I've already had all kinds of practice last night at the park with my little sisters. Oh, really? All your sisters. I see. You know what? Go ahead. She's all yours. In fact, you can keep her. You mean it? Cool! Real cool. Now I can get my homework done in peace. Oh, Carissa! Let's go! It's time for some super sister-sized fun! Okay, Jay, she's five, not two. Never underestimate a five-year-old. Ray, please. I think I can handle a child. Higher! I said I want to go higher! Lower! I want to get off! I want to swing some more! Nope! I think I want to get off! Wait for me! Carissa, don't <laughs> run so fast! Catch me, catch me, if you can! Oh, it's just sand. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. I'm so lying. Come on. Push! I want a seesaw. I want my sister. She can seesaw. She couldn't even make the seesaw seesaw. So, I guess you won't be keeping her. Does this answer your question? Ah! Reza! Jamie! Quick, find me! My sister! Charlie, she's after me and she's not happy! Where is she? I don't know. I haven't seen her in days, weeks. Honest. Me? I don't know anything. I mean, I thought a five-year-old would be a walk in the park, and instead the whole thing turned into a nightmare in the park. Look what she did to my favorite sweater. Look at it. Aw, it's so cute. Was this a sweater you wore when you were a baby or something? She shrunk it. First she stole it, then she washed it, and then she shrunk it to the size of her brain. Hey, first of all, I didn't steal it, and secondly, I was trying to be a good sister by washing it for you. Only a pea brain would own a sweater that can't be washed. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mom! I'm beginning to think this whole sister thing is hugely overrated. <laughs> overrated and dangerous. I'm out of here. Seconds, JJ? No thanks. But if I wanted seconds, I could have seconds, and I wouldn't have to share them with anyone. This has been another great family meal brought to you by my mom and my dad. We're glad you liked it, Jamie. We aim to please, don't we, David? We're regular family meal folks, I guess.
And what a family. You, Mom, and me. That's it, that's all. No screaming seesaws or shrunken sweaters in this house. No way. Life is good. I have no problems, not a one, not even two. Screaming seesaws and shrunken sweaters? You think those are new bands? Don't ask. She's 12 and she seems content. Let's just leave it at that. Hi, Reza. Hi, Sydney. Yeah, it's me. What? What was that? I can't hear you with all that noise. What's going on? Carissa, quit it. I'm on the phone. Where are they, Sydney? I know you took my earrings. I don't have pierced ears, Charlie. <laughs> Carissa, put that down right now. Get out of my room, Charlie. I'm warning you. Mom, Charlie's bugging me. Mom, Carissa's bugging me. Ah, the sweet sound of silence. And to think I wanted a sister. I think not. This has been another great only child moment brought to you by me. Being 12 is like being put on hold when your call waiting's beeping. But you can't pick up because you might miss something. I am so mega bored. Would somebody please think of something we could do? We could go to the bookstore. First person who finds a character in a novel with her name wins. I'm talking fun, not brain draining. Maybe we could go to the pet store and look at kittens. That's fun. Okay. Uh, how about we go into the new candle place? Ask if they've got scents like wet sweater or rusty tin. Oh. Just spitball in here. <sighs> Feel like pizza? Or Chinese? Subs? Pasta? Anybody? What's that? Hmm, somebody must have dropped it. See anybody who looks like they lost a phone? What, you mean somebody who's talking into their hand? Let's see. It's pink and it smells like perfume. So we're definitely looking for a girl. Or a guy who's not so into dividing the world into boy and girl colors. Yeah, whatever, Reza. Now, Jamie, let's case them all to see if we can find the girl without the phone, okay? Great, we've got a mystery on our hands. Cool, something to do, finally. If we don't find the culprit, I mean the owner, We'll just drop it at the lost and found. Excuse me, did you lose a phone? Excuse me, did you lose a phone? Excuse me, did you lose a phone? Wow, this is like the latest model. Cell phones are such a waste of time. You wouldn't want one? Come on. All people do with cell phones is phone other people and say, guess where I'm calling from? Hi. Did you lose a phone? How about you? Wait, miss, the least you could do is acknowledge my existence. This isn't going to work. People think I'm trying to sell them something. There must be another way to figure out who this belongs to. Oh my gosh, this thing stores pictures and everything. If all cell phones come with that guy's picture, sign me up. What do we do? How about this? Hello? Shaquana, that you? It belongs to some girl named Shaquana. Uh, hi, um, who's this? Come on, don't give me that. It's Jason, your honey bunny. Uh, I know you're ticked, but you don't have to pretend you don't know me. I don't know you? Disguise your voice all you want, but I know it's you. Listen, I'll just apologize, okay? Even though you were wrong for just walking away mad. Ha! Tell him it doesn't matter who's right or wrong. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. What matters is you don't have a clue about girls. What matters is you don't have a clue when it comes to girls. Now hang up. <laughs> Way to go, Shaquana. 
You guys might have just messed with someone's love life severely. Nah, she just gave him a piece of her mind so he'd appreciate her a little more. I mean, appreciate Shaquana. Uh-oh. Shaq, did you hang up on me? I gotta talk to you. Are you still in the mall? They must have had an argument at the mall, and she took off, and now he wants to talk to her. No, I left. I, um, went home. I mean, why all the questions? Uh, Where are you? Uh, I'm at the park. You sound weird. Listen, I'll come by later and we can talk, you know? He's not in the park! Did you see the smirk on his face? He was actually smiling to himself. He's lying to Shaquana. This is not right, not one bit. We've got to tail this guy and see what he's up to. But what about Shaquana? We should be looking for her. It is her phone. Sid, we have no idea what she looks like. Yeah, we might as well stick with Liar Boy over there. He's our only lead. I'm with you, Jamie. If anyone knows what she looks like, it's him. I'll do it for Shaquana. Awesome! But if we're gonna really get in spy mode, we're gonna need some spy equipment. Reza, you go that way and get what you can. I'll go this way. Sid, you stay here and keep an eye on you know who. Communication is the key to any successful mission, so I got walkie-talkies. Reza, what did you get? Cool, a mirror and a disguise. You've really got a knack for this spy stuff. Thanks. So, is he still in the music store? Nope. He made a move over to the jewelry store, and he's been there ever since. Let's surround him, then watch him closely as we call him on his cell and see if he lies again. Can you see him? Over. The boy who tells lies is standing next to the gems that sparkle. Over. Quit speaking in code. Just call him on the cell and find out what his story is. Proceeding with dialing. Over. Uh, hi. It's me. Still with the voice? Where are you? I told you, uh, at the park. Uh, what, you don't trust me? Sure, but you don't sound like you're in the park. Yeah, and you don't sound like you. Listen, be sure and stay home, because, like, I wouldn't want to run into you anywhere else. But there, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I gotta go. It's all becoming clear. He's making sure she stays home so he can... Can what? Over. So he can do whatever he's doing, that's what. I say we send in someone to get up close to the action. Over. Someone totally innocent. Someone he would never suspect. Over. Like who? Over. Ah! Where'd he go? The boy. He was standing. Oh my. The lying boy has flown from the gems. Come in, you guys. Over. Can you hear me? The lying boy. Ah! Way to be all subtle, Sid. Okay. Time for plan R for Reza. Pesky mirrors. Can't figure out how they work. <laughs> Broken, I think. <laughs> Target is all over me. Switch to plan J for Jamie. Switch to plan J right now, or it's over. Over. Hang on, Ray. Jamie's calling him right now. Hang on. Over. Hi, it's me, Shaquana. We need to talk right now. I'm back at the mall. What? I mean, okay, uh, it'll take me some time to get there because uh, I'm not there, remember? <laughs> uh, I'll meet you at the food court. Great, hurry, don't stop for anything. Hello? Hello? He hung up. Get out of there, Reza! Do you like this one? Yeah, it's adorable. Would you think I was the sweetest guy in the world if I bought it for you? Totally sweet. He has another girlfriend. What a creep. Buying her presents. Making sure he wouldn't run into Shaquana. What 
a jerk! It's not him! Who could it be? Pick it up and find out before I do! Hello? Shaquana! Jamie, we've been looking for you for hours! The mall? Us too! No way! We're in the food court too! Right by the pizza! Hey, I think I see you! Are you waving? There you are! Hi! This is so amazing! You found my phone! Thanks for watching it for me. That's not all we've been watching. This is probably going to come as quite a shock. We've got some news about a friend of yours. Bad news. You better sit down, Shaquana. What is it? It's about Jason. Jason? <laughs> My boyfriend? You talked to him? Yeah, we talked to him all right, and we think he's a big... Hey, Shaquana! Before you say anything, I just want you to know what you said before on the phone, you are right. I was? Yeah, I don't have a clue when it comes to girls. I even had to ask one if you'd like this. All this time he was looking for a gift for her. Oh, it's perfect. He was just asking that girl in the store for advice. You said you were home, so I figured the coast was clear to surprise you with a gift. Mm, uh, who are they? Oh, <laughs> we're just the ones who found her. Uh, who were watching you... I mean, her. Oh, just some friends who watched out for me. I think it's maybe time for us to leave you guys alone. Sid, Ray, let's go. See you guys. Thanks again. Hmm. Guess we didn't mess up their love life after all. I knew all along he was a good guy. Let's hope he stays that way. Because Shaquana seems really nice. Hey, Reza, where's your walkie-talkie? Hey, Jason! That's right, it's me, the bear! I'm watching you, so don't slip up, ever! Another day at the mall, another life changed. What can I say? We're good! Guess the bear's got it covered from here. <laughs> <laughs>